Okay guys, so when you're ready, get yourself comfortable. So you're either gonna lie on your back with a pillow underneath your head so that your neck is lengthened. So if your chin's sticking up in the air, you're not in the right position. You need to have your neck nice, nice and long. Remember, if you have got your roller, you need to have the roller all the way down your spine and then your pillow goes on top of it. There we are. So we'll start with our breathing. So you want your feet on the floor, knees bent. And then just rest both hands down by your side. So when you're ready, take a nice big deep breath in. Expand your rib cage and then you're going to pull the bottom of your rib cage down towards your belly button to engage the core. So you're pressing the back of your ribs into the floor, okay? Now just hold that there and just continue with your breathing. Deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. So try and relax your shoulders now. Keep breathing and then if you try and squeeze your pelvic floor muscles now as well. Uh, imagine you're going to the loo for a wee and you're stopping your wee halfway through. And then keep breathing. So when we do the exercises, this is core engagement, okay? So this is how you need to hold your tummy muscles. Okay, let's just release everything. Now again, take a deep breath in. Tense the tummy, engage the core. And now as you breathe out, tilt your pelvis so that you're pressing the small of your back into the floor. And then breathe in and release. And again, breathe out, tilt the pelvis. And breathe in, release. So just carry on with those, doing about, we'll do usually do about eight of these. So just tilting, breathing out, and releasing as you breathe in. So each movement should be a breath in or a breath out never holding your breath, always in control, slow flowing movements, concentrating on your breathing and your core engagement. Let's do one more. And then onto the hips now, we're gonna just bring one knee at a time into the chest and then lower the foot back down. Now change sides, so alternating. <clears throat> so remember, Keeping the core engaged, controlling the breathing. So you're going to breathe out as you lift the knee and breathe in as you lower your foot back down. So we're just warming up the hip joint. If you get your breathing the wrong way round, it doesn't matter as long as you're breathing and you're not holding your breath. Do what's comfortable for you. of those and then we're going to straighten out the right leg now so if you slide your heel along your mat extend the leg flex the foot and then slide the heel back along the mat bend the knee change sides so again we're alternating one leg at a time straightening and bending the leg that's all it is so if you try and flex your foot as you extend you should feel a nice stretch in your calf muscle Remember to try and keep the core engaged. You're breathing out on the extension and breathing in as you bend the knee. Okay, so we're going to add in now with the opposite arm. So if you're straightening your right leg, you're lifting your left arm over the head, lengthen the body and bring both back to the start position. Change sides. So left leg, right arm and bring it back down. So you want to try and keep the small of your back pressed into the floor or into the roller. That just gives you a little bit more stability if you're on the roller. So we're breathing out, extend the leg, breathing in, bend the knee. Okay, last two. Okay, we're going to hold both arms above the chest now. Palms of the hands facing each other. And then I just want you to open the arms out to the side and bring them back to the centre. So you're just turning yourself into a capital T shape. Or a cross. So when you do this now, try and squeeze your muscle into the roller. If you haven't got a roller, you're trying to squeeze your shoulder blades into the floor. So again, 
again, remember, just practice your breathing. Breathing out on one movement, breathing in on the other. It doesn't matter which way around. Okay, last one. And then again, holding your arms above your chest, start some small circles. So try and circle both hands outwards. Am I? Yeah. Okay, I'll turn my mic up a little bit. <clears throat> okay, change the direction of the circles now, so circling inwards. So both hands Again, pressing your shoulder blades into the floor or muscle into the roller. Okay, now we're gonna take both arms all the way over the head and then bring them round into nice big circles. My plants are in the way now. So we're trying to get full range of movement in the shoulders. If it's painful, then bend your elbows a little bit just to keep the pressure off the joint. So you should always feel comfortable, no pain. Listen to your body and just do what feels right for you. Okay, let's go the other way now. So if you bring both arms down by your side and then round over the head. So if you were standing up now, you'd be circling your arms forward, a bit like the butterfly stroke and swimming. one and then we're going to hold the arms above the chest now and we're going to lift your right shoulder off the floor or the roller and turn your head towards the left bring it back down and change sides so try and lift your shoulder as high as you can comfortably reaching your hand towards the ceiling big stretch my pillow. <clears throat> okay, let's do four more. This is a good exercise for strengthening your shoulders and the neck. This time. And relax, both hands behind your head. So resting the weight of the head in the hands, feet flat on the floor. We're going to curl the top of the spine off the floor now. So breathing in. Hence the tummy, engage the core. Now tuck your chin under and peel yourself up and slowly curl back down. So remembering to try and lift each vertebra one by one. So we're trying to get the movement in the spine, making the spine more flexible. So breathing out, rolling yourself up, breathing in, rolling down. So please try not to pull on your head and your neck. Just relaxing the weight of the head in the hands. Your neck shouldn't be hurting. Last two. <clears throat> and then relax your head back on your pillow. Pop your hands down by your sides and then try and bring your heels a little bit closer to your bottom. And we're going to lift the hips now. So tucking your chin under, breathe in, tighten. Turn the in ribs down and then curling the bottom of your spine off the floor or the roller and curl slowly back down. And again, breathing out, lifting and breathing in, rolling down. Okay, last four. Easy 
and the pelvic floor muscles as well. Two more. Breathe out, lift and breathe in, touch. One more time. And relax. Okay, let's just come off the roller now. If you have got a roller, just pop it to one side. <clears throat> Brilliant. We're going to start with the hundred today. So put your calves in a 90 uh, on top of the table. So your legs, your knees are in a 90 degree bend. Okay. And then we're going to lift the head and shoulders as high as you can and pump the arms. So you want to stretch the arms as far forward as you can. So when you're ready, take a big deep breath in. Tense the tummy, engage the core, pull the ribs down, lift your head and shoulders as high as you can, tucking your chin under, stretch the arms forward, and then we're going to breathe out now, pulse the arms, one, two, three, four, five, breathe in, two, three, four, five, breathe out, two, three, four, five, breathe in, two, three, four, five, breathe out, two, three, four, five, breathe in, two, three, four, five, breathe out, two, three, four, five, breathe in, two, three, four, Four, five, breathe out, two, three, four, five, breathe in, two, three, four, five, breathe out, two, three, four, five, breathe in, two, three, four, five, breathe out, two, three, four, five, breathe in, two, three, four, five, breathe out, two, three, four, five, breathe in, two, three, four, five, breathe out, two, three, four, five, breathe in, two, three, four, five, and relax your head back down, bringing your knees into your chest, pull them in and then just gently rock your knees from side to side. <clears throat> the tummy, engage the core, lift your head and shoulders again, tuck your chin under. Now I want you to pull one knee into the chest and extend the other leg away, pointing your toes, change sides. So this is one leg stretch. So you're breathing out as you extend the leg, breathing in as you extend the other leg. Keep the head and shoulders lifted as high as you can. You can really feel the abdominal muscles working. Remember pulling that knee into the chest so you're feeling a stretch in the hip. The lower you take the leg, the harder you can make it. So if you're struggling, take the leg a little bit higher up. Last four. Three, two, one, and rest. Bring your knees in again. Relax your head down and rock gently from side to side. <clears throat> and then back into tabletop, put your calves on the table, point your toes, 90 degree bend in the knee and also in the hip if you can. Hands are down, take a deep breath. Tense the tummy, engage the core and then as you breathe out now we're going to take both knees to your right bring them back to the centre, breathing in. Now try and keep your knees and your feet together so you have more control, okay? So you're pressing your knees together as you rock them from side to side. Try and keep your shoulders relaxed, keep the core engaged and keep breathing. If you want to increase the level, you can do it with straight legs. If you feel you can cope with that, if it's feeling painful, then you need to put your feet back on the floor to do it. Control. Okay, last time. Third lap, well done. Okay, this time we're going to stretch both legs straight and then taking your arms over your head, make your body as long as you can, lengthen the body as if you're being stretched on the rack. I'd love to be stretched on the rack. <laughs> oh, 
okay, just relax. Now we're going to keep the legs straight and just slide your pillow to one side and pop your hands behind your head. So again, rest the weight of the head in the hands and again we're going to curl the top of the spine off the, off the floor. Okay, so when you're ready, take a big deep breath in. Hence the tummy, engage the core, flex your feet and then curling up, tucking the chin under, breathing out. Breathe in, curl back down. And again, so you're just cradling your head in your hands, but you're not pulling on the neck. Breathe out. And breathe in. Okay, let's do four more of those. So learn to think about your spine, lifting one vertebra at a time. Last two. Breathing out, lifting up, breathing in, and we've got our last one. And rest. Okay, this time we're going to take the right arm above the head, keep your left hand behind your head, and we're going to lift the right shoulder and arm and the left leg. So this time point your toes. Take a deep breath in. Hence the tummy, engage the core, and then when you're ready, lift that right shoulder and the left leg, reach across, and then slowly control the arm and the leg back down. And again, same side, reach. So coming up as high as you can comfortably, and lower. And again, breathe out, reach. And breathe in, control it back down. Four more, breathe out, reach. Breathe in. Last three. So try and bring your leg a little bit closer each time so you're feeling a stretch in your hamstrings. That's the back of your leg at the top, if you don't know. Okay, let's have a little pause here now. Stretch both arms above your head and make yourself as long as you can. The fish is watching me again. Grumpy fish. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put the right hand behind the head now, left arm above your head. Point your toes, take a deep breath in. Tense the tummy, engage the core, and then we're going to lift the left shoulder and the right leg, reach across and control slowly back down. And again, breathe out, reach. Breathe in. Six more to go. So increasing the range of movement in the leg on each lift, if you can, as long as it feels comfortable. And for our last three. Last two. to the rack, nice long stretch. Don't hold your breath when you're stretching, take some deep breaths. Okay, pop your pillows back behind your head now and we're going to do some bridging. So you need to bend your knees. So if you start with your feet and your knees touching so they're together, hands down by your sides. Breathe in. Tense the tummy, engage your core, and then I want you to peel the bottom of your spine off the floor, curling up and curling back down. And again, breathe out, curl up, squeezing your pelvic floor muscles. And I want you to try today to squeeze your knees together as you lift your hips off the floor. Okay, so you're lifting up, pressing those knees together so you're feeling the muscles in your thighs working. And again, breathe out, squeeze, breathe in, curl down. So we'll do four more of those, just coming up as high as you can comfortably, curling down, last three. Breathe out, lift, relax your shoulders, breathe out, curl down. And again, breathe out, lift, squeezing the knees, 
last one. And perfect. Okay, we're going to bring the knees into the chest now. Just have a little stretch. Gently pull the knees in. Hold it there, nice and still. And now just have a little rock from side to side. So we're going to do a similar one again, but this time you're going to lift your toes off the floor. So this is going to target the hamstrings a little bit more now. So pop your feet back on the floor and then just rest your heels on the floor. So you might need to take your feet a little bit further away for this one. Okay, hands are down again. So you might need to change your feet, just see how it feels. Take a deep breath in. Tense the tummy, engage the core and then slowly curl up. Sorry, this time, can you just take your feet apart so you're not, you haven't got your knees together this time, okay? You've got a gap between the knees and the feet. And curl back down. And again, breathe out, lift, squeeze, and breathe in, curl back. So remember what you're doing with your spine, you're lifting one vertebra at a time to get the little muscles in between the vertebra to work properly. Breathe out, lift. And breathe in, curl down. Again, we've got three more of these. So you probably feel it more now in the backs of your legs rather than the fronts of your legs. Relax the shoulders. Okay, let's hold it up this time. And then I want you to do a little pulse together with the knees. So it's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, curl back down. Okay, just relax your toes down for a second. We're going to do that again. This time we're going to raise the arms over the head at the same time. Okay, so when you're ready, lift your toes again, breathe in, tighten, tummy in, ribs down, and then curling the spine, lifting the arms over the head, squeeze and curl back down. So concentrate on what you're doing with your spine, curling yourself off the floor and then curling back down. And again, breathe out, lift. And breathe in, curl down. Five to go if you can. If you can't do them all, that's fine. You have a rest whenever you need one. Just really feeling it in the backs of your legs now. If you do have a little bit of cramp, just have a rest and stretch your legs out. Last two. On this last one, if you can manage it, we're going to try and do that pulse again. So just keep your arms over your head and pulse the knees. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and curl that spine back down. Bring the arms down and then give your legs a nice stretch. So we're back on the rack, nice and long, arms over the head. Point your toes. Make yourself as long as you can. straighten out your right leg. So you've got your left leg resting on the table. Tuck your chin under, so keeping the head on the floor, hands down by your side, flex your right foot, take a deep breath in, tense the tummy, engage the core, and then when you're ready, lift that right leg as high as you can, keeping the foot flexed. So try not to bend your knee, you want to keep that knee completely straight on the right leg. Breathe out, lift. So if you're finding it too hard, I want you to put your left foot back on the floor. Okay? It's up to you. So breathe out, lift. So again, bringing that leg as close to your chest as you can, so you're feeling the stretch all the way down the back of your leg. Last two. Last one. table. Extend your left leg straight, flex your left foot, tuck your chin under, breathe in, tighten, tummy in, ribs down, and then start to lift that 
your left leg up. So keep the foot flexed, keep that left leg straight. So you're breathing out, lifting, keeping it straight, feeling it in the back of the leg and the lower rib cage. So remember your breathing as well. Don't hold your breath. Concentrate on keeping your core engaged, pulling the ribs down. Do a smaller range of movement if you can't keep if you can't maintain the core engagement. Last four. Remember, if you're struggling, put your right foot back on the floor. Last two. So we're going to do um, scissors now. So lift your feet off the floor and I want you to try and get your legs straight. If you can't get your legs straight, that doesn't matter. You can do this with bent knees if you need to, okay? So we're going to point the toes, hands are down, tuck your chin under, take a big breath, tense, engage the core, press the ribs down and then start to lower one leg. Don't go all the way down and then swap over and lower the other leg. So you've got both of your legs moving at the same time crossing over each other. Now concentrate on keeping that core engagement. Okay, so don't let the small of your back come off the floor. It needs to be on the floor. And then see if you can do a bigger range of movement now. If not, just carry on with the smaller one. It's just important that you keep the core engagement in this one. If the small of your back starts to come off the floor, just make it a little bit easier by not doing quite a, a big move, just do a smaller move. Last four, breathe. And then bring both knees into the chest, hook them in, hold it there nice and still. to roll over onto your side. So you don't need your pillow now unless you're gonna use it to put on your arm like that if you're more comfortable like that. Otherwise, you can get rid of your pillow and rest your head in your hands. So make sure you're in a nice straight line all the way down and the hip bone here should be pointing forward. If it's pointing towards the ceiling, your hips aren't in the right position, okay? So make sure that your hips are stacked nice and straight. Bend your bottom leg and then keep your top leg as straight as you can, flexing that top foot. Pop your hand on the floor and then we're going to breathe in. Tense the tummy, engage the core and then let's lift that top leg up and then pointing the toe, we're going to lower it down. So you're changing the angle of your foot each time. Flex the foot, lift the leg, point the toe, lower the leg. And again, flex lift, point, lower. Make sure that your kneecap is always pointing forwards, not towards the ceiling. If you go too high, you'll end up twisting your hips and your knee will twist as well. So again, maintaining that core engagement, still breathing, squeezing the muscles in your legs, and one more time. Perfect. Okay, keeping your toes pointed now, we're going to circle backwards. So breathe in tightly, tummy in, ribs down, and then just start circling the leg. So it's up to you how big you make the circles. It's going to be easier if you do smaller ones. Try not to go too fast. Control and breathe. OK, 
Okay, let's go the other way now. Circle, pause. Control, we start to lose control, have a little breather. stretch so hold on to your foot pull your foot towards your bottom and then I want you to push your top hip forward so tilting the pelvis and pulling that leg back okay pull the leg back a little bit further now so your knee goes behind you if you can if it's comfortable to rest your elbow and your forearm on the floor and bring it quite close to your ribs okay and then bending both knees to make it easier bring your knees further in front of you if you want to make it more difficult bring your knees back you can even do it with straight legs if it's comfortable for you okay i don't like doing it with straight legs it feels horrible to me so put your other hand on the floor for a little bit of support to start with take a breath Tense, engage, and then we're going to lift the hip and lower the hip. Okay, so if you can manage to not hold on to the floor with that top hand, great. If you need to hold on, that's fine. So we're just lifting to a side plank and lowering. So we're breathing out and breathing in, keeping the core engaged. If you're finding it too easy, then you can do it with straight legs if you prefer. So bring your knees back a little bit. Okay, let's hold it up now if you can. If you can't hold it up, carry on just going up and down. Otherwise, take the arm above the head, look at your hand, and then we're gonna rotate round, threading through that gap, and then reaching up, looking at your hand the whole time. Follow it round. Reach. Again, still breathing, don't hold your breath. four if you can. And relax the hip down. Okay, we're going to come up into the seated position and then with the arm that you've just been resting on the floor, I want you to lift that over your head now towards your ear your right hand on the floor and just lower <coughs> yourself down <coughs> excuse me so you can feel a stretch all the way down your side keep the arm back as far as you can comfortably okay come up to a seated position so you can either sit with your legs crossed or come onto your knees we're going to do a spine twist now rest both of your middle fingers on your chin Take a deep breath, tension to me, engage your core, and then we're gonna to rotate to the right, breathing out, breathe into the middle, change sides. So we're just twisting from side to side, keeping the core engaged. So you should have a nice straight back. If you can't maintain a straight back, you need to do it on your knees, okay? With your bottom away from your knees. Bad knees, put a pillow under your knees. Last four. Last two. And rest. Okay, you're going to bring the arms down now, so giving your wrists a little stretch. Feel the hands and the wrists. little circles with the wrists and then in the opposite direction now okay so we're going to lie on the other side now so we came from this way so now your head needs to be on the opposite side of your mat as 
been a long time, can you still remember which way round you were? <laughs> so if you want to use your pillow on your arm, you can, or just rest your head in your hand. So get your hips in the right position, so your hip is pointing forward, not towards the sea. Straighten out that top leg and bend your bottom leg so that you've got more stability. So we're going to start with a flexed foot on the top leg, hand in front, breathe in, tense your tummy, engage your core, and then when you're ready, breathe out, lift the leg, now point the toe and lower the leg. So you're flexing on the way up and pointing on the way down. So really try and squeeze the muscles in your legs, okay, so they feel nice and tight. You're toning the leg muscles at the same time. Keep breathing, keep the core engaged, don't let that go. Make sure the knee stays pointing forward. Control. Okay, last two. toes pointed now and circle backwards. So remember it's up to you how big you want to make the circle but try not to go too fast. <clears throat> Control, nice slow movements, keeping the core engaged, keep breathing. And change direction now, circle forwards. in the leg now, bend the knee, hold on to your ankle, pull it towards your bottom and then you're going to tilt the hip forward so that you can feel a stretch on the front of your thigh. Don't hold your breath. Okay, pull your leg back now. our side plank now. So you're resting your elbow and your forearm on the floor. So as close to your ribs as you can comfortably. So you choose your leg position. So remember bringing your knees forward makes it easier. Okay. Knees back is harder. Straight legs is even harder. So start with the top hand on the floor. Take a breath. Gauge the core and then we're going to breathe out and lift the hips up and down. So try and keep your core engaged. And then if you can, take the hand away from the floor. Breathing out to lift, breathing in on the way back down. Okay, one more, let's hold it up now. And then reaching towards the ceiling with your top hand Follow the arm round, thread it through the gap, and then keep looking at your hand, reach. So if you can't manage to do the rotation, you're just going to carry on lifting your hips up and down for as long as you can. Rest when you need to. Okay, we've got four more. up into a seated position. Okay, cross your legs if you can. If you can't cross your legs, just put them in a comfortable position. Okay, and then we're going to reach up with the elbow of the arm that we've just been leaning on. Okay, put the other hand on the floor and then lower yourself down until you feel a stretch all the way down your side. So try and get the arm as far back as you can. Okay, 
push yourself back up. Now give your shoulders a little roll now. Huh? And then I want you to just stretch both arms out to the side. Now try and keep them in that position, okay? So you're not moving your shoulders, just moving your torso. Breathe in. Tense the tummy, engage the core, and then just twisting your torso to the right, to the center, to the left. Now, because you've got your arms out, it's not gonna go as far as if you had your arms in. So keep your shoulders nice and still. Imagine you're squeezing an egg between your shoulder blades. You don't wanna drop your leg. that's moving. And relax the arms down. Okay, give your shoulders a roll. And then we're gonna do the saw now. So this is stretching the hamstrings. So you wanna take your legs as wide as you can without bending your knees. So if your knees are bending, you can't keep them straight. You need to bring your legs in a little bit, okay? Now lift your bum up and slide yourself forward. Now see if you can sit up straight now. If you can't sit up straight, just pop a pillow underneath your bum or a block or something, okay? So we're gonna take the arms out again and then we're gonna reach the right hand to the left foot. Breathe in, tighten. And then breathe out, reach gently without forcing it and then straighten your spine, arms out again. Change sides, reach, and straighten the spine. So I want you to just gently increase the stretch without being in pain, okay? So you shouldn't feel like the backs of your legs are snapping, you should feel comfortable, a nice stretchy feeling. Remember, if your legs are bending, bring them a little bit closer together. Doesn't matter if you can't reach your feet, you're still feeling stretch. Okay, let's do four more of those. You should be able to go a little bit further now. Last two. How are the arms? Are they aching? One more. and relax the arms, give your shoulders a roll. Sigh of relief there from Mandy. So we're gonna stay in this position now, we're gonna uh, increase that stretch now. So I want you to just go over the right leg, so your chest is lowering towards your right leg, okay? If you're not very flexible, you can put your hands behind you and just push from behind. I don't mind what you do with your left leg now. If you're not comfortable, you can bend your left leg, you can do whatever you want with it. Okay, just go into a comfortable position and see how far you can get your chest towards your thigh, okay? So keep increasing the stretch bit by bit, relax your foot. Okay, let's just gently come back up sit up tall and then we're going to go to the other leg now. So you can do whatever you want with your right leg now, put it in a comfortable position and then just gently ease your chest towards your thigh. Hands behind if you need to and then just keep increasing the stretch gently without forcing it. And then you need both legs straight now, so bring them closer together if you need to, and then we're gonna to walk to the middle. If you're not very flexible, put your hands behind your back, okay, and push from behind. Just push gently, not too hard. So just see how far you can get down. Keep your legs relaxed. Keep breathing. And then just go further and further gently long as it feels comfortable, nice stretchy feeling. Okay, one more 
back up, slide your feet together, give your legs a little shake and then we're going to turn sideways on your mat now and keep your legs straight. I've got all bits of fluff on my feet. So this is um, called the spine stretch. Again you can put your pillow underneath your bottom if you can't sit up straight. Okay. So this time we're going to lift the arms straight out in front and I want you to keep the level of your arms at the same height as your shoulders all the way through. Flex your feet, take a deep breath in and then I want you to drop your chin to your chest and arch your back away from you so you're like an angry cat stretch. Okay and then after you've got into that position then you're going to breathe out and reach forward with that back nice and round. Don't drop the arms and then slowly breathing in, curl back up and straighten out the spine. Try that again, take a breath, and then breathing out, arching the back first, drop the chin, and then with that arched back, reach forward without dropping the arms, and then you're uncurling, sitting up straight. Do that again, arching first, and then reaching. Curl back up, straighten the spine. Do two more of those. Arching, drop the chin and press forward. Curling back up, sit up straight. Last one, chin to the chest, curling the spine, pressing forward and then curling back up, straighten the spine and then lift the arms over the head, press them back sitting up straight, bring the arms down, pop them on the floor, both hands pointing towards the back, fingers towards the back, bend your elbows and then open out the chest, so you're lifting your chest as high as you can, squeezing your shoulder blades together and breathing. So if you take deep breaths you can expand the rib cage and the lungs a little bit more. Okay, roll your shoulders back and then we're going to do rolling down now so if you bend your knees and put your feet flat on the floor hold around the fronts of your knees now you will need to move anything you've got behind you will have to go now okay any knives or anything <laughs> so start with a straight back knees in take a deep breath and then drop your chin to your chest again. And then again, make that C shape in your spine. Press your spine away from you as far as you can. And then curl back up and sit up tall. Do one more of those, chin to the chest, curl the spine away. So if you think you can manage now, we're gonna let go of the legs this time. So curling the spine, let go of your knees, and then I want you to control yourself down as far as you can go. It doesn't matter if you can't go all the way to the floor. And then when you come up, take another breath, tuck your chin under and then peel yourself back up off the floor. Sit up straight, squeeze the muscles in the back. So let's do six more of those, rounding the back, curling down. So one vertebra goes on the floor at a time. Breathing in again before you lift. Tuck your chin under and then you're going to breathe out all the way up, okay? And again, curling down. So if you can't do the whole curling business, just carry on holding on to your thighs or your knees. You can just do arching your back and straightening your back. Curling down. Take a breath before you come up. Remember, it needs to be controlled. If you can't control it, don't go all the way down to the floor. No jerk movements. I think this is the last one. And then when you've finished, give your knees a big 
hug and squeeze the muscles in your back. Okay, sit up straight. And relax. Okay, we're gonna finish off with a little bit of stretching now. So you can get your pillows, put them behind your head and then lie on your back. your chest, pull it in, and then straighten out your left leg. Flex your left foot and just keep pulling that right knee into the chest. Okay, relax. Bend your left Cross your right foot over the top of your left knee. Okay, keep your hands on the floor and then I want you to just gently push your right knee away from you without using your hands so you can feel the muscle in the right hip working at the front. Okay, relax and then lift your right foot, off the, sorry, your left foot off the floor so it's pushing your right foot towards your chest. Okay? And then if you can reach, hold around the back of your left leg and pull it towards your chest. If you can't reach, it doesn't matter, just push it and then just rock gently from side to side now. At the same time, just pulling the thigh towards you. rocking now and then I want you to slowly start to straighten that left leg as much as you can and then keep pulling that left leg towards you. You've still got your right foot crossed over the left leg. Hold it there. Bend the left leg and then lower both feet down to the floor. Okay, bring your left knee into your chest now, so give it a hug. Straighten out your right leg, flex your right foot, and then just keep pulling that left knee towards the chest so you can feel a stretch in the groin area. your right leg and cross your left foot over the top of your right leg, your right thigh. So hands on the floor and then you're going to push that left knee away from you using the muscle in the front of the hip. Just gently pushing away. side to side. And then stop rocking and straighten your right leg. So keep pulling it towards your chest, get it as straight as you can with the foot flex. So you should feel a stretch all the way down the back of your right leg as well now. Okay, 
Okay, let's bend that knee now, lower both feet back to the floor. And then just put your feet and your knees together and then drop both knees to your right side. And then if you turn your arms and your head to the left now, so you're in a Z shape. Just relax for a second, let everything go, just relaxing into the floor. Okay, now I want you to tilt your pelvis forward, so push your hips forward. Keep breathing, don't hold your breath. Switch sides, so you're going to take your knees to the left side, and your arms and your head to the right. So just relaxing now, just let everything relax into the floor. Okay, now tilt the pelvis, push the hips forward and hold it there tilted. Keep breathing. Okay, relax. Take your arms to the same side as your legs. So you're lying on your side and then we're going to push up onto all fours. Nearly finished now. So come onto your hands and knees and just relax your toes flat on the floor. So we're going to do um, angry cat, happy cat. So when you're ready, take a deep breath in and then come into your angry cat, rounding your back like a humpback bridge. Let your head drop and push your hips forward. Okay, and then you're going to stick your bottom towards the ceiling, make a little arch in your lower back and lift your head, but not too high. Bring your shoulder blades down and then back into your angry cat. Drop the head, tilting the pelvis forward, rounding the back. And then back into happy cat, sticking your bottom in the air, lifting your head, pulling your shoulder blades down your back. And then back into angry cat. And again, happy cat. Bring your shoulder blades down. And one more time, back into angry cat. And happy cat. I'll just relax into neutral and then we're gonna just rest your bottom onto your feet stretch your arms as far forward as you can try and get your arms straight let your head just relax down and then gently press the hand into the floor so you're feeling stretch all the way down your arms your back keep breathing to all fours. Take one arm through with the palm facing the ceiling and then you're going to rest your shoulder and your head on the floor. Stretch that arm as far through as you can and then if you can, if you feel comfortable enough, gently press your forearm into the floor. Noise. That's my guinea pigs, I don't know what they're doing. Okay, push back up, change sides, you're sliding the other arm through, palm is facing the ceiling, rest your head and your shoulder on the floor and then you're just going to gently press the forearm into the floor. Okay, 
you come back up onto all fours, curl your toes under. Remember, if you're not very flexible, take your feet wide and then lift your knees off the floor and come up into down dog. Now, we're just gonna come onto the toes and I want you to just gently paddle your feet so you're lowering one heel at a time towards the floor. Okay, so you're feeling a stretch in your calves. Just one at a time. Now, if you can, try and lower both heels towards the floor. You might not reach the floor, that's okay, I can't reach the floor. And then we're gonna bring the arms a little bit closer so you're more in a pointy triangle and then drop your head through your arms towards your thighs. Okay, bring the heels down as low as you can and hold it there, still breathing. Take a deep breath, squeeze your tummy muscles and walk your hands towards your feet. Okay, hold it there so you've still got your hands on the floor and then I want you to round your back, back into your angry cat, okay? And then let your arms, your hands lift off the floor. Relax your head and your neck and just hang like a rag doll and then do some small circles with the hands so no effort, you're just letting them circle freely. Squeezing your shoulders. And then just change the direction of your circles now. Still keeping your head relaxed. And then take a big deep breath in. Squeeze your tummy muscles, bend your knees and put your hands on your thighs and then just slowly uncurl your spine and we're going to come up into a standing position. And then once you're up, just give your feet a little paddle just in case you feel a bit dizzy, stabilises your blood pressure. with your feet now and then join your hands behind your back and I want you to lift your arms up as high as you can comfortably okay pushing your chest forward and then bend your knees a little bit and then we're going to lean forward if it feels comfortable and I want you to lift your arms as high as you can okay so it's as if you're trying to put your hands on the floor I don't think we're going to make that though are we Now, before you come up, make sure your knees are bent. Take a deep breath and then pull your tummy in and push both feet into the floor. Slowly come up to a stand. Now, you might feel a little bit dizzy again after that. Roll your shoulders back, bring your feet together. And again, paddle the feet to stabilize your blood pressure. together now. We're going to bend the knees, pull your tummy in, breathe in, sweep the floor, reach up high, watch the lampshades, stretch, squeeze the muscles in the back and then lower the arms out to the side. And again, breathe in, sweep the floor, stretch, squeeze the muscles in your back and out to the side with the arms. One more time, sweep the floor, reach and relax the arms down breathing out give your little shoulders a roll little shoulders i don't know why i said that <laughs> and that is it you are done give yourselves a big clap guys well done so if you're in a rush you can just turn me off that's fine otherwise if you need a chat just put your mics back on <laughs>